so in the last video we we, ha we have seen like uh, um, how we can check uh, the deployed um, um, the deployed instance of the service using postman and now we will try to play around with the api proxy so how we will do um, i will go to the api manager you can locate it from here okay and you have to just click on manage api manage api from the exchange you have to look for that click it team okay so raml everything is okay i will go with endpoint with proxy cloud hub and yes i have created in 430 so that should be okay and one thing this implementation url because i want to point it to uh, this cricket team app so what i will do i will copy paste this url control c and i will go back over here and it is a http link so slash api slash okay this should be fine i will check for the advanced option as well let's go with the latest and http 8081 that is fine click on save now uh, check for the api configuration once again endpoint proxy mul4 that is fine and see this advanced option as well latest http 8081 runtime i will take 430 i will put cricket proxy and update if application exists so this should be fine i guess yes it is okay so let's click on deploy so it is going to deploy an app onto the runtime manager you, you should be able to see so let me refresh this page so this cricket proxy it is going it is going to deploy gradually yeah so you can see within the logs how it is responding so what this proxy will do um, from the uh, actual source side whenever a request will come it will first go to this cricket proxy and after that uh, the implementation url which we have uh, mentioned as the uh, this cricket team app this one uh, sorry this one it will it will be invoked so we should be able to see the specific customized logs within this particular application log as well okay so let's see how much time will it take let's go to the logs once again nothing much so you can see from here as well uh, or you can close it go back to the api admin it is showing in the unregistered state so gradually when it is up uh, it will convert to the register or to the active mode let's go back over here it is trying to start our application so in the meanwhile let's quickly uh, copy paste some of the efforts like uh, this url i will copy paste and go to my api manager and to this particular version and we'll add the consumer endpoint because this is being exposed to the external world okay so this should be the uh, this should be okay and i will just save it let's see if it is being deployed yes it is being deployed now so I will copy paste this starting thing is this one and we'll check if it responds back or not. So here you can see uh, it is responding back and if I want to cross check the same within our cricket team app I will go to the logs and um, somewhere um, 23 18 37 431 431 is the last one right so let's try to hit it once again okay so now 098 we have received so let's do this way i will go to my postman i'll create a new instance i will copy paste this guy and hit enter so i'm getting the proper response and this was my one second 
so this this was my proxy and let me try to hit it from the actual uh, app as well so this is the same response i will copy paste this as well and you can click on send and you can get the same response back okay so what is the use of creating this uh, this uh, api proxy the main use will be like we will be putting our nfrs non functional requirements away from our actual implementation so all the logic all the policies can be implemented over and above the main implementation or the system api it will be checked on this level itself so just click on policies apply new policy i will go with uh, basic authentication okay this one i will put uh, maybe admin and password is admin i click on apply so there it gives two different options either apply to all or a specific method so if you select the specific method it will give you the list whether it is a get method then it will select all the get method uh, related to it and you can pass the uh, template uri as well but since we want to go with the all um, it should be available on all the api method and sources i will select the first method and click on apply so this is being done and let's see from uh, proxy so here you can see it is asking me for username and password so that is admin admin function and you can see we got the response back similarly you can check from here as well if you try to hit the proxy uh, it is erroring out but if you go to the authorization and the basic auth uh, i will put admin admin and it it sent i am getting the same response so i i hope you like this video and uh, from this video we we infer like how to use api proxy and how to apply the policy on top of it and in order to uh, get a reference into the main uh, application as well which is running in the uh, back end of it at the implementation level so thanks for watching and have a great day